Good evening, Americans. This is Tom Price, here to explain why the U.S. should go metric. Over the years, I've heard various presidential administrations talk about this country as an educational go goal, being number one in math and science. Great, great idea. Number one in the world in math and science. The question is, how could we possibly be number one in math and science when we have two measuring systems? How could it possibly become a reality if we have two systems that are confusing and conflicting? Normally, I'm not a big fan of government interference, but in this case, with the whole interest of the country involved, it'd be making much simpler. The metric system would be a much simpler system. In the long run, and that's what I hope you really focus on, in the long run, Things would be much easier and overall save money, actually. You know, in the 1970s, the federal government legislated from on down, and opponents resisted, and the implementation stopped. I'm proposing a new strategy American citizens rising up from a grassroots campaign. I have a question for you How many countries have switched to the metric system? <clears throat> How many countries? have actually gone to the metric system? The answer is basically everybody except the US. Second question, how many countries have gone to the metric system, didn't like it, and then changed back? Answer, none. In the long run, changing to the metric system will be a time and a money saver. We won't have to teach, learn, measure, print, stock, calculate, research in two systems. We don't have to have two sides to the ruler, two printings on the products, two sets of wrenches, two sets of books, two conversions. The famous Mars Orbiter of 1999 shows the failure of having two systems. We'd also have more time in schools. At a typical American school, how much time is spent on teaching the US customary system? From what I could find at my school, I would uh, say about three to four lessons a, a year from kindergarten through eighth grade. That's about 27 to 36 lessons, typically, maybe more, maybe less. We could use those lessons for other things and it wouldn't be as confusing. Good question for someone out there to research. How much time could we save in schools if we just had one system? Our students could measure better and there'd be less confusion. Right now, one of the biggest problems we have is that we don't have a good grasp of the metric system. You know, we're just not familiar with it. We teach it in school, we see it here and there, but it's not really a part of our lives to, so we're so familiar with it. If a country was totally metric, it would be fitting all together. Home, school, work, wherever we go, you can have a good experience of it. One question that has come up is, do we have to retool all of our machines? Probably not. Because with the, since the measurement, not the size, would change. For instance, a normal 2x4, commonly used, actually is pretty close to 5x10. Five, 5 centimeters by 10 centimeters. We just call it something else. Another question was, do we have to redo all the roads? Most of our roads here in the middle of the country are one mile square. You just call them 1.6 kilometers. Do we have to change all of the nuts, bolts, and screws, and all those? You just measure it and call it by its metric measure. I don't think a whole lot would have to be changed except in the fields that use all these measurements for design, planning, all the construction, all the things that are familiar to a lot of people. All those things are already programmed into computers with heights and distances and weights and all that. It would take a lot of work. I know that. It wouldn't be easy. There would be obstacles to overcome in the transition. But with the help of teachers, schools, government agencies, people in the industry, we can do it. There's enough professional help already out there in place all across the country where we could establish the metric system without a whole lot of problem. Schools could obviously maybe be a, a learning point for all the communities so we could proceed. Anyone who has studied the measurement issue knows, knows. You just know that the advantages of learning one system, the metric system, which is based on 10. My question for you is when? When are we going to change? Never? On to infinity, 200 years from now, we're still going to have two systems? Why not now? 
Are you resigned to the fact that we're always going to have two systems? I'm not. You know, I envy the science teachers here in America. They decided they were going to go with the metric system, and that was it. They must have been okay with the American public. Oh, science teachers. Uh, metric systems make sense. But you know what? Math teachers, we have to teach both. We have to teach both systems just about every year to be good with it. And then our students don't do very well. And guess who gets blamed because our students can't measure? The third international math and science study, this is an old publication here, but it's been some other research lately. One of the areas, you can look it up, T-I-M-M, or T-I-M-S-S. You can also look up the NAEP, N-A-E-P. There's data out there that suggests Harvard kids don't know how to measure. The data's there. That's why I'm calling on the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, the NCTM, to be the, to join, to lead the way, to be the focal point of getting all the other educational agencies, government, educational leaders together. One question our school asks is, is it good for kids? Is it really good for kids to know two systems? Why not just one? Do we have to teach them two systems because us adults just don't want to change? Some people have pointed out to me that having two measuring systems is like learning two languages. And you know, it's, it's okay to learn a second language. Well, the reasoning falls apart because nobody else in the world has a second measuring language. Yeah, math is kind of like a second language, but you know, it's okay to learn two languages like Chinese, Spanish, German, etc. But no one has a second measuring language except us. We already have two systems. Now, you know what? You might not personally be involved, but the metric system is going on. We already are engaged. We're already engaged. The question is, will we go solely? I've never run across an American yet who went into a store, looked at a bottle like this, and said, I'm not going to buy this bottle because it's metric. What do people say? You know, mm, 89 cents per two liter bottle. I think I'll take it. Once we get used to it, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Let's look to the future. Suppose we make a total switch right now. In five years, what would it look like? A trip to the store would be the same, have the same units as where you work, as where you go to school, those kinds of things. Everything would fit. There would be no confusion. After the initial outlay of time, money, and energy, and I know it would be a transition, but after that, then what? After five years, my guess is that most people will say, wow, I didn't know it was that easy. I didn't realize that it's really not that bad. Now, why didn't we do this earlier? That's a good question. Why didn't we do this earlier? For those of you who are really worried about the change, I'll answer the one question I know is everybody's, on everybody's mind. The most pressing thing in America about measurement would be, do we have to change football to meters? No. Rest assured, we can still play football on 100 yards. It's just all these other places. I'll be speaking April 10th at Salt Lake City at the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics National Convention, trying to get as many leaders to cooperate, to engage, to move this country forward. We could have it better. That's what this is all about. We could have it better. Better measurements, more efficient citizens, more time spent on studying math, less confusion across the country, better international cooperation. We can do it. I know we can do it. Let's take care of it now and be on our way. Grassroots Metric Campaign. See you on the web.